Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the 6th episode of Let's Talk Pakistan a podcast where we discuss everything from global issues to tech updates Today we have again with us Ms Hiba Imran who is here to talk about a very significant and very important human emotion that is anger Ms Ms Hiba Imran as you guys already know has majored in psychology she is a rapid transformation therapy professional and eating psychology coach as well as a certified nutritionist she helps people in emotional healing as well welcome to the podcast again hiba so before we Thank you. ask uh, before we ask you about what anger is uh, i found a little, very interesting introduction to anger in one of the papers that i was reading in anticipation of this podcast so it defined uh, anger as something anger as something which has it says so it says anger is an extremely powerful emotion if you di- display it constantly others will avoid you like the plague on the other hand keep it bottled up inside and you become a pressure cooker that will inevitably blow its top leading to actions that you will later regret so in in lieu of all this definition and the words that i spoke Tell us a little bit about what anger actually is, Hiba. Okay, so as you described it, um, agar nikalo dusro pe, to phir dusre bhagenge andar rakho, to basically it'll poison you. So it's so important ke hum is cheez ko samjhe aur iske saath deal kaise karna hai, ye samjhe kyunke varna to phir we will keep jumping from one extreme to the other kyunke काफी दफा हम अपने अंदर अगर रखते रहे हम ये सोचें कि नहीं दूसरे को बुरा ना लगे या मैं बुरी ना बन जाऊं सिचुएशन में तो मैं अपना गुस्सा अंदर ही रखूं एक टाइम आता है दैट विल पोर आउट क्योंकि वो इतना ज्यादा भर जाता है देन इट विल पोर आउट इन अनहेल्दी वेज बट इफ वी कीप कॉन्स्टेंटली कॉन्स्टेंटली पोरिंग आउट पोरिंग आउट ऑन टू अदर पीपल देन that is another extreme so we keep jumping from one extreme to the other um emotion okay so basically anger is just an emotion gussa ek bas emotion hai jaise aur dusre sare emotions hai humne gusse ko i think pakistani society mein not just pakistani society but like i think all over the world isko bahut zyada ek bura evil aur ek enemy sort samajh liya hai na ke pata nahi kya hai like because it's so powerful um some people are intimidated by it or are controlled by it um so i believe ke gussa agar aap waise hi dekho jaise baaki ke sare emotions hain then you stop giving it so much power jaise um sadness hai or happiness hai even love or any emotion that you think of is just an emotion and the important thing about emotion is ke you have to allow yourself to feel it yahan par sabse badi wo aa jati hai maine bhi research kari thodi si iske upar maine dekha ki acha pakistan mein log anger ke upar kya keh rahe hai na thode se maine do char lectures sune तो उसमें यही बताया हुआ है कि सॉरी इज योर कैन यू स्टिल हेयर मी बिकॉज योर वीडियो इज स्टक आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ आई कैन हेयर यू ओके ओके आई थॉट यू स्टॉप हाँ सो बेसिकली लोग लोगों ने लेक्चर्स में यही बोला हुआ है कि रिस्पॉन्स डिले करो या तो ये वाला हिस्सा अपना दिमाग का इस्तेमाल करो या वो करो या तो मतलब जो जो चीजें बताई हुई है ना उसमें से मुझे कहीं ये नजर नहीं आया कि लाइक द पर्सन हु इज एक्चुअली स्ट्रगलिंग टू मैनेज हिज एंगर हाउ इज ही सपोज टू इवन लाइक कम आउट ऑफ दैट एंगर इन ऑर्डर टू लाइक थिंक अच्छा क्योंकि एंगर में सबसे बड़ी चीज जो होती है वो ये होती है कि आर 
uh, frontal part of the brain shuts off, right? We're dealing like we're an animal, very instinctually. So how are we supposed to think? How are we supposed to just breathe um, when we're in that state? So I believe instead of thinking of that state as a bad thing, allow it to move through you. So I guess the best way to explain this would be sab log ye keh rahe hain ki ye monster hai ki ye sher hai ya ye wo hai ye wo hai right yeah. your if you think of it as a jungly janwar how are you supposed to ever control it like ek had tak aap usko tame kar sakoge na ek had tak usko aap domesticate kar sakoge um to jab tak aapka perception ye rahega ke it's a evil thing it's a bad thing it's out here to get me it's here to cause destruction then you will always be someone who's fighting it who's who's like trying to protect yourself against anger Definitely. when in fact yeah when in fact gussa jo hota hai it's here to protect you definitely so सबसे पहले तो मैं लोगों का परसेप्शन बदलना चाहूंगी इसके ऊपर कि इट्स नॉट अ बैड थिंग गुस्से को बुरा बोलना बंद कर दें गुस्सा हाउ वी एक्सप्रेस इट दैट कैन बी अ बैड थिंग कि हाँ अगर हम दूसरे पे जैसे एज यू डिस्क्राइब डेट के अंदर रखें या दूसरे पे झाड़े तो यस इट वुड बी अ बैड थिंग लेकिन गुस्सा इट सेल्फ द इमोशन इट सेल्फ stop being scared of it it's not some monster and even if it is even if it's a monster like let's think of it as a dragon theek hai which can breathe fire yeah imagine the power of that dragon if it's on your side right if you yeah. are do you want to be friends with that anger aapko uska dost banna hai agar itna khatarnak beast hai ya to us को फाइट करना है क्योंकि अगर उसको फाइट करोगे तो इमेजिन हु विल विन ऑफ कोर्स द इवेंचुअली द इवेंचुअली द ड्रैगन विल विन बिकॉज़ इट्स मोर पावरफुल देन यू इट्स मोर बिगर देन यू बट दैट डजंट मीन दैट um you need to control it in order to feel powerful yep it means that you can just bring it to your side and it can work for you right yep definitely it can then start to um become your savior it can become your guardian right yep and definitely. that is exactly what anger is gussa jab aata hai hame jab koi hamari boundary cross karta hai jab hame koi nuksan punchane ki koshish karta hai jab hame koi um beizzat karta hai karne ki koshish karta hai ya to they cross a line yep and we have this sense of uh self that we need to protect of course jaise yeah so i keep talking but like i believe like this is so important to understand ke aap koi bhi country utha ke dekh lo har country ke borders hote hain right um agar borders na ho to kya hoga like anybody could come and anybody could harm you right yeah yeah to to it so we all have those borders problem sirf jab banti hai jab hum jante nahi hai wo borders kya hai hamare wo limits kya hai hamari wo triggers kya hai so i think that also um answers the next question which is what causes anger i think yep. what causes anger is when we don't know our own triggers yep. right definitely jaise ek ban ya yeah, ek bande ko aap gaali doge wo kahega that gali doesn't even apply on me kyunki ye sach baat hai hi nahi to usko gussa nahi aayega dusre bande ko gali doge uski ek dusri cheez ja ke hit karegi some some sense of self will be threatened so that is what's going to trigger him yeah, lekin so- agar wo ye na samjhe ke agar wo ye na samjhe ke this is what's triggering me it's yeah. actually not the other person but yeah. what's triggering me is something from my past to wo phir 
बुरा रिएक्ट करेगा बी लाइक हाउ डेयर यू कॉल मी दैट मतलब जरूरत कैसे हुई किसी की भी मुझे ये बोलने की या मुझे गाली देने की राइट तो दैट इज वेन यू वेन गुस्सा बिकम्स Yeah, so basically, um, in a way, yeah. So basically, what you're saying is, I'll just sum it up for yeah, you. Yeah, in a mind. way. Yeah. So what you're saying mm-hmm. is that people, uh, mm-hmm. you, people get angry when they don't usually fully understand the situation, right? Ah, uh, you, um, a person might witness something and perceive it to be an injustice, for example, right? And ah. Uh, but the problem is that every situation has a context and a background to it right and uh, we might one might not be aware of what the what uh, what that situation or the background is so keeping in mind such things would actually be very helpful in for people and uh, at at times what you are saying i'll just justify uh, uh, just summarize this right so what you're trying to say is at times people are justified to be get angry but they have to do it in a certain way that people don't get offended right uh, uh and for example uh yeah, there is a situation there is a boss for example in someone's office who keeps getting on their nerves right uh and in, in that mm-hmm. sense in that instance that very employee is right to uh Uh, to complain or be uh, and be reactive exactly to. this is where anger comes in like anger yes. is like no stop yes. like i don't tolerate this from yes. other people like you know this is what anger is here for actually so this dragon is trying to save you it's protecting you from other people's uh misbehavior towards you mistreatment towards you Yep. So, why not get angry? So, like, excuse me, you're crossing the line. Like, I, you know. So, we have all the right to stand up, and because anger gives you energy to fight exactly. or to get out of there, that is to save yourself. If we have in our, if we have anger, if energy is not here, then we wouldn't be able to survive. We wouldn't be able to protect ourselves in the situation. So that's why. It has to give us a lot of energy. Our my body me learning ki taakat aajat hai. Or kyunki ye itni taakat aur energy hai, ham isko dabane ki koshish karte hain. So that that that's a very un unhealthy thing to do. But I have. Or naive kar paate. So then, but actually, actually, um, log try karte hain ke while I'm angry, let me just take deep breath. But what that does. Deep breathing is really good for you. Like in when it when you're angry, what that does sometimes is um makes you feel more out of control. Cause then you're not able to. It's like trying to control the dragon and be like holding it. And up box me ban nahi kar sakte dragon ko. It will become even more angry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stop trying to contain it. Yeah. let it yeah. out but just let it out in a way that is effective and healthy rather than destructive exactly. that is the only difference that is my next question to this right so when you talk about unleashing the dragon right in your own words right so when mm-hmm. you talk about unleashing the dragon what i believe that it can lead to affecting the relationships adversely so your last line which you said that let it let it out but let it out effectively right and mm-hmm. uh, you said something about how uh, how you have to control the dragon as well right so that is my next actually question. actually let me just let me just let's rephrase that no more controlling okay theek okay, hai you can't control the dragon agar aap kisi cheez ko control karne ki koshish karoge na you're yeah. basically saying you're powerless against me and the dragon will go no watch me i'm more powerful than you um i am trained to protect you and i will do that no matter what so and then when you try to control it you you again feel helpless because the you can't control something that is bigger than you that is um you know so first of all um we have differentiated that 
it's not us, it's the dragon. It's something outside of us, right? Um, the separation is key here. And hum log baad mein pe aur zada baat kar sakte when we come to the question about how to deal with it, I will show, I will tell you the steps, exact steps on how to uh, behave when you are in the state of anger. But abhi ke liye, yes, sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my next question is, uh, when you, like you said, don't control the dragon, right? I agree. Let's not control mm-hmm. the dragon, right? Uh, it's an emotion and you say, let it out, right? But then the question that comes to my mind is that how, what are like the wrong ways to let it out? And because you see, when you unleash the dragon without controlling it, it will obviously hurt people and the relationships. And no one wants that, right? Or no one wants that your relationships are bad. Or when you talk about when you talk about Pakistani society, in my own opinion, Pakistani society has more passive-aggressive reactions to anger rather than aggression itself. Because I believe that in our culture, mein, emotion suppression is something that is big, very big in the South Asian culture, right? Or uh, because especially uh, globally, we have seen when it comes to uh, uh, male male uh, gender, uh, emotional suppression is something that is very dominant there, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, what how what is the effective way to let out the day the dragon as you call it uh, because if we unleash it then everything like in my opinion and according to the research i've read it can have much much adverse effect on the long term relationships as well so what kind of communication of should we have yeah. so that's the thing gusseme बात ना करें क्योंकि गुस्से में obviously आप ऐसा कुछ बोल देंगे which you will regret later लेकिन ऐसा भी नहीं बोलें कि मुझे गुस्सा आना ही नहीं चाहिए मुझे गुस्सा आया क्यों because we've already went through कि हमें आता क्यों है गुस्सा और I just want to um, first uh, clarify कि एक होता है जो normal level का गुस्सा होता है और एक होता है जो chronic बना होता है किसी किसी के लिए जो बार बार like um that person as a trait um behind that is um behind any anger is actually pain it's hurt so so um this is when we un- we bring out the dragon is because we're too sad to deal with this and dekho jab hum bachpan mein uh, hote hai na uh, bacche to we didn't have much control over our lives we didn't have any say when when somebody crossed our boundaries we couldn't do anything about it right um so a lot of times wo jo pain hota hai bachpan se baitha hota hai aur kabhi kabhar उस वक्त कोई हमें हमें किसी ने दर्द पहुंचाया होता है तो व्हाट दैट डज इज बिकॉज़ वी नो के व्हेन वी आर हर्ट एंड व्हेन वी आर सैड हम लोगों वो सैडनेस की एनर्जी ना लो होती है तो हम लोग उसमें फाइट नहीं कर सकते किसी से हम वी कैन स्टैंड अप फॉर आवरसेल्फ वी आर हेल्पलेस राइट तो स्पेशली जो बच्चा हु हैज फेल्ट हेल्पलेस हिज होल लाइफ एज अ चाइल्ड विल ग्रो अप to be the most angriest kyu because anger gives him more control anger gives him more power because as i said the energy of anger is up here it makes you feel like you it's a false sense of control it's not actual control it's a false sense of control ke main kisi pe chillaunga to wo meri baat sunega kyunki bachpan mein meri koi baat nahi sunta tha um lekin ab mere paas ye ek tarike se like um, kya keh le um, weapon hai to use Uh, now I'm not armless, you know. Yeah. So, yep. 
So that's why anger is a good thing, but at the same time, it's a cover up. So it's hiding the sadness and the pain behind it. So when we talk relationships, so first of all, we can't quickly go from being angry to being okay what is the pain behind it you know to ask us that like in hum agar zyada emotionally intelligent agar ho zyada acche se like usko hum phir deal kar sakte hain lekin in the beginning for a, an average person who's not that emotionally aware he has to let out his anger but not on somebody to yeah. agar aap ki for example aapke spouse ke sath ladai ho rahi hai so instead of just talking and talking and talking in those moments thinking that you have control over this dragon cuz you don't why not go and be with the dragon i say go inside a room let the dragon express itself listen to what the dragon is saying what is it saying what is it like why is why is it, you can even ask the dragon like dialogue with the dragon i would say that is one big tip i want to give on how to deal with um anger is talk to the anger be like okay and i think before that let's add one more step which is um the energy aspect of it ke wo energy ko kahin na kahin to jana hota hai you can't destroy the energy it has to be transferred so transfer it to something um so okay. like do move yeah 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 sure uh, so uh, what you're saying is actually re- research actually shows i read an article uh, by a very a very leading uh, psychologist dr Charles Spiel, uh, what was his name? Yeah, Spielberger, uh, who is uh, who who is one of the leading researchers on anger, uh, anger management and other things. So he, th- as you said yourself, there are, according to him, there are three ways. I'll just simplify it for the people, right? Uh, there are three ways people actually uh, express. People should, uh, like respond to anger. Mm-hmm. The one one of them is expressing. Second is suppressing. and third is calming so the one of the uh, in expressing what you said right i'm just explaining it so that it becomes something in a very research form of uh, information right mm-hmm. uh, so in mm-hmm. in assertive uh, in expressing he says the anger should be assertive not aggressive exactly yeah? exactly in in the second mm-hmm. part when he talks about suppressing he says uh, that anger can be suppressed and then can be converted or redirected into something positive yeah so th- that is exactly, exactly what you said right and yes. thir- thirdly yeah. he talks about the idea of calming right uh, so what he says mm-hmm. is that calm down inside uh, but like it it doesn't mean that you calm uh, your external behavior but internally calm yourself right but he says when all of these don't work that means uh you are that means that person as you yourself said theek hai usne uh, dr dr spell burger ne kaha hai ke agar ye teenon kaam nahi karti that means you you are hurt by someone or something that is very inherent aur phir wo cheez ko hal karne ke liye there is a whole variety of other techniques so Uh, yeah go to a therapist if you have like a um deep rooted pain then go to a therapist but if your partner said something that hurt you in that moment and you got angry what you can do is let me take you through the steps so yeah. people can understand sabse so, pehle to in that moment recognize that the dragon is coming out be like okay feel and tell your uh, partner this i'm feeling angry okay मुझे गुस्सा आ रहा है दैट इज यू टेलिंग यूर पार्टनर एंग दैट आई नीड अ फ्यू मिनट्स बाय माई सेल्फ आई से द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू 
क्योंकि उस वक्त लग रहा होता है कि हाँ हाँ अगर हो भी रहा है हमें गुस्सा आ भी रहा है आई आई हैव इट अंडर कंट्रोल इट्स ओके लेकिन यू एंड अप सेइंग समथिंग दैट यू रिग्रेट लेटर तो आई से के लेट द पार्टनर नो आई एम फीलिंग एंग्री आई नीड अ मोमेंट हम ना इस पे थोड़ी देर बाद आके बात करते हैं ठीक है बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू रिजोल्व दिस आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क ऑन दिस बट आई जस्ट नीड अ मोमेंट टू गो टॉक टू दिस दिस ड्रैगन गो एंड पंच समथिंग आई से पंच अ फेलो इफ यू हैव अ पंचिंग बैग इन द रूम पंच पंच अ पंचिंग बैग और लाइक जम्प डू सम पुश अप्स डू समथिंग दैट फिजिकली ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर्स द एनर्जी um so release that release that and then you're able to communicate with the dragon and with yourself catch up what what about ke us bande ne jo bola hai what was it about that that hurt me ke like you know again jaise maine shuru mein bola tha you need to understand your boundaries and your triggers unless and until you know phir jab tak aap dusra bande pe blame karte rehte ho dusre bande ko hi wo karte rehte ho bura bhumate rehte ho जब तक आपको ये नहीं पता चलता कि ओके वेट अ सेकंड हाउ कैन दैट पर्सन नो व्हाट माय बाउंड्रीज आर आई हैव टू बी द वन टू नो एंड सेट द बाउंड्री राइट अदरवाइज द अदर पर्सन विल बी एबल टू क्रॉस इट विद लाइक एंड देन आई विल गेट एंग्री एंड आई वुडंट नो व्हाई एंड देन आई विल जस्ट बी लाइक दैट पर्सन इज बैड बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई यू नो सो सो इट्स सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू देन लाइक गो टॉक टू देम अच्छा I feel angry because when she said that I can't do anything right that made me feel small and that made me feel um disrespected or that made me feel hurt that she's supposed to rely on like she I want her to depend on me and I'm not able to make her happy and therefore i feel incapable i feel incapable i feel powerless to make somebody happy or somebody proud or whatever it is like even if you can't go that that deep at least you can tell the dragon be like we are on one team thank you for coming tell the dragon thank you i appreciate your support I appreciate your help. I appreciate what you're trying to do for me. जो मेरे लिए करना चाह रहे हो मुझे सब समझ आ रहा है सब दिख रहा है, and that calms the dragon down right away. It's like um, I don't know मैं कौन सी मिसाल दूँ, but like any animal, the more you try to fight it, the more it will fight back. But the the minute you're like, it's okay. I'm here. I'm listening. Yeah. you know you can you can tell me whatever it is whatever you're trying to do or let the dragon express itself okay and and then the and then um suddenly the fire is gone and the dragon sits down and then you guys can work together like okay and then you can pet the dragon um yeah. and this is how you actually control the anger not by trying to lock it up inside a room but going inside the room with it and being like i'm here i'm listening yeah, this, this, and um, and suddenly like, this whole yeah. analogy seems like uh, that uh, kids cartoon which is how yes kids, but this is i hope kids. this helps yeah. people understand <laughs> but, how to yeah. tra- how to train your dragon Part yeah <laughs> yeah Okay, and then you, and then after the dragon is yeah. calm, then you go outside, and then you're like, you then um you can talk to your partner, be like, okay, then you can express yourself, be like, okay, when you said that, I felt angry because da 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 whatever the yeah. reason was, and this is how you actually do it. Yeah, so- but there, are, I know there are instances where it's not just this like one argument. that cause you anger it's like age old anger which has been sitting there and sitting there and choti choti baaton pe gussa raha hai samajh nahi aa raha ki actually kyun mujhe har baat pe gussa aa raha hai because behind it is a bigger reason a bigger cause yeah and if you're not able to understand it by yourself get help 
get coaching, get therapy, um, read some books. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Or journal, journal, journal. Yes. Journal helps you uh, unlock the underlying emotions. As I said, anger is usually a cover up. Behind it lies the deeper um, emotions that are actually causing the anger to come out. French, uh, French people have this very interesting phrase uh, which they use. It is it is called um, it is called so so entendo. So this means you're saying one thing that sounds innocent, but really meaning another, which. can be quite vicious right so i mm-hmm. believe this is exactly. very important uh, when you are dealing with this sort of situation as you yourself just said k uh, tell your partner or whoever you are uh, who you are angry with k why you are feeling and what you are feeling so maybe maybe communication is sort of something that uh, that can uh, solve the issues rather than being passive aggressive all the time right because that can only uh, harm your the relationships between people at mm-hmm. the end of the day right so uh, so now that you you've talked about how how uh, how people can deal with anger i'd like to touch on one small thing before we end the episode right uh, which is which is uh, how emotionally intelligent uh, people actually uh, react to anger how they control anger better than, because emotionally mm-hmm. emotional intelligence is an ability right uh, it's an ability which means it can be learned right so that is why we're talking about it's uh, a skill it can be learned yes yeah, exactly so uh, it can the, be built the, the, as as i told you before the podcast started uh, i was reading about this uh, person he's the president of yale university right now peter saloway uh, he's the one who made the scale of he's the pioneers of this emotional intelligence thing uh and he's the one who coined this as an ability right uh so he mm-hmm. had this uh amazing uh test as well uh, for measuring uh, measuring emotional intelligence so my question is that how are emotionally intelligent people because we all know that there are people who can who can deal with anger uh, who can basically perceive use understand and manage anger in people uh a lot uh, a lot more efficiently than other people for example mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. agar hum apni society mein dekhe to uh, historical context mein to ek bada mashhoor banda hai photo right uh, he was mm-hmm. a person uh, not anger but like ek, a person who mm-hmm. can who could actually rile people up right because uh, unke mm-hmm. emotions ke sath wo khelta tha theek hai even today uh, mm-hmm. uh, i mean pakistan log kafi zyada log hain jo kehte hain photo aaj bhi zinda hai theek hai he played with the emotions of people so much that today even today he is remembered as a person who uh, who did a lot for the community uh main political debate mein nahi jana chahta par baat main ye hai ki how emotional intelligence seekhi ja sakti hai humne bhi kaha so how do emotionally intelligent people differ from uh, people with less emotional i- intelligence ओके सो बेसिकली जैसे मैंने डिस्क्राइब करा है पूरा प्रोसेस फॉर एग्जांपल अगर बंदा आर्ग्यूमेंट uh, mm-hmm. में आ गया किसी के साथ mm-hmm. तो ही वुड हैव टू एक्सक्यूज हिमसेल्फ गिव हिमसेल्फ सम टाइम टू सिट विद हिज इमोशंस टू सिट विद द ड्रैगन बट इफ यू ट्रेन योरसेल्फ इमोशनली व्हिच इज इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस यू बिकम मोर सेल्फ अवेयर यू डोंट हैव टू एक्सक्यूज योरसेल्फ uh depending on the level of uh in inte- uh, like um con- like what self management training you've gotten aap usi waqt 5 seconds mein wo sara process kar sakte ho udhar hi baithe baithe you can be like i'm feeling angry i know what's triggering it and i know how to talk to my anger i know how to calm it down i know how to calm myself down and you just do that in few seconds yeah the last yeah because it's just awareness awareness is like the key i think yeah. uh just noticing your energy rising like noticing you um getting all worked up your heart starts beating fast 
um, with emotionally intelligent people, they can recognize it like really fast. And then they don't try to control it. They don't go like, calm down, calm down, calm down. They're like, allow the energy to pass. Like, you know, and understand that it's not anything bad. I'm the one in control here. I'm the one who's the boss of the dragon. Okay. And the dragon is just my guardian. It's just trying, it's like my guards. That's it. So um, one last question before we end this, because uh, I'd like you to come again to discuss emotional intelligence or for another episode. But before we end this one, I just like want one last comment on something that I read online. Um, an article, research article, a very re- interesting research article, which I read in that EQ, which is like uh, emotional quotient or emotional intelligence as we call it, it counts for 90% of people's success. And IQ, which is intelligence quotient, okay? mm-hmm. it accounts for only 10%. So tell us how those people who come to our today's topic, who can control their anger, like it is obvious, but you tell me that the control of the anger, why is it more successful than those people who simple, who can control the anger, but was smart. So why is this so important? That's because that's because when you are in that state, you are in that state, your smartness doesn't matter because your um, frontal lobe is turned off. Like it's on a pause. Um, you're functioning from here. Um, reptilian brain, which is came here to help you survive. So in that moment, it doesn't matter how smart you are. What matters is whether you're able to understand your own uh, emotions and understand the other person's emotions, right? Yeah. So I feel like if you're able to, because um, the anger is that if you become hyped up, other people take advantage of that people do start to feel emotionally exposed when they start talking too much, when they're angry. Um, they do see, start to look like out of control okay. and people call that foolish. Like a person who can have um, self-control, they're seen as more um, resilient or more like composed and those I guess the people are are the ones who are looked up to Uh, but that doesn't mean if you're do if you're trying to suppress it in the moment just if you said you can suppress it in the moment you go into the room talk to the dragon in those moments you do have to push it aside for a little while but do go back to it. Do go back to it. Any emotion. This is to do with any emotion. But you feel like you can't. Doesn't mean like that you push it away forever. No. When you go home, cry. Cry yeah. it out. When you go home, sit. Sit with that dragon. Be like, okay. What's up? <laughs> you know? This is what's going to build your emotional intelligence. You talking to that dragon over and over again, you're getting in touch with yourself. And you don't even, ha- I keep saying dragon, but it doesn't have to be dragon. It could just, it could look like anything for you. It could be any color for you. It could be even your own image, uh, a different part of you. But just know that it's not you. It's something that you're dealing with outside of you. It's, some, it's like, um, just create that separation and talk to it, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah, and so, just know that, you, you know that um, that thing is not what gives you power. You are inherently powerful. For example, um, like, I'm trying to keep yeah, it exactly. short here. Thank yeah, you so, so much, Shiba, for uh, explaining to us what anger is. How this is very important to the 
uh, I, Pakistani society. Yeah, do you want to say something? Sorry, yeah, I just, I just want, sorry, I just want to add something. Yeah. I know a lot of people uh, learn how to control their own anger, but they don't know how to deal with other people's anger. Yes, very important. So, yeah, so I just want to make a point of that. Okay, when somebody else is being angry at you, you don't have to take that either, but that doesn't mean you have to bring out your own dragon to fight theirs. Just see it as um, them yeah. being a dragon or a lion without teeth. Because they're lion without teeth. They can't harm you, but just know that behind that anger is a, a, a sad or hurt or a... Uh, um, uh, a very helpless person and when you see that you don't you don't have to get angry you don't you just automatically you're like uh-huh uh-huh just just let them let it out you don't have to take it you don't have to receive it but at the same time you don't have to shut them down either you can just let them let it out and be like i hear you just talk to their dragon as well how you talk, how you would talk to yours, be like, okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. And watch that person will slowly start to calm down. Yeah, thank you so much. So that's, for... that's just one yeah. point I wanted to make. Yeah, so thank you yeah. so much Eba, for the anger management uh, lessons on, uh, and it is, I believe, both important uh, Pakistani society may because uh, it is something that is less talked about in our society. Uh, and um, I believe a lot of people can uh, get benefit from benefit from this a little podcast. Or uh, before we go, as per tradition, Hiba, give us a book recommendation before you go. Hi there, everyone. So Hiba wasn't really sure about the book she was going to recommend when we were filming the episode. So she decided to send it to me after we were done with filming. And the book she recommended was Mindfulness for Anger Management, Transformative Skills for Overcoming Anger and Managing Powerful Emotions. And this book is by Stephen Danziger. Um, so I'll link the book in the description for everyone. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Hiba, uh, for, this, uh, for this episode. And so thank you so much, everyone, for watching this episode. Please share with your friends and family so that LTP can grow and we can bring more such amazing podcasts for you um, in the future. And God bless. Allah Hafiz.